the fifth race. Second division of the 2001 Nasagoya Stakes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. An even looking start. It's Daylon Frontier and Brad's Gold leaving hard. Daylon Frontier is fastest of all. Daylon Frontier and Mike Saptic, Pacific Titan, Speed Museum. Mr. Teddy Bear is on the inside, following through into the top four. King Tutpan Cayman is fifth. Brad's Gold will take a seat in sixth. And Mach 3 follows through seventh into the first turn with Soho in eighth. Ninth on the outside was Ashley's Big Guy. Then it's back to Life is a Cabaret. Shutout Hanover was 11th. Pacific Titan made the front over Daylon Frontier here in 26 and 3. King Tutpan Cayman is still parked to the outside and driving. Speed Museum is on the inside from 4th. Brad's Gold up and moving. 2nd over from 5th and here comes Mach 3. Out 3rd over from 6th on the way to the half. That's Mr. Teddy Bear looking a little hemmed in from 7th. Soho is 8th on the outside. Ashley's Big Guy is ninth. Life is a Cabaret is 10th. Shutout Hanover was 11th. And the new leader for Dave Miller, King Tutpan Cayman. Driving right at him is Brad's Gold. 54 and 4 the half. On the inside, Pacific Titan third and Mach 3 right where he needs to be. Second over from fourth. Daylon Frontier is on the inside from fifth and Soho is the sixth one onto the final turn. Ashley's big guy, seventh. Speed Museum is eighth. Starting up ninth on the outside, life is a cabaret. Mr. Teddy Bear is tenth. And after a break, shutout Hanover is out of it from eleventh. Brad's gold on the outside. King Tutpen came in on the inside. Here comes Mach 3 peeking out from second over. Right there on the outside, widest of all is Ashley's big guy into the top four and Mach 3 hits the front into the stretch off three quarters of 123 flat Mach 3 and Waples are opening up by two on Ashley's big guy King Tutpan came in Brad's gold Daylon Frontier on the outside Mach 3 has done it again he wins his division of the Nassagaway of Stakes over Daylon Frontier and Ashley's big guy 151 and one that's the track record and the stakes record for Mach 3, an astounding performance. The victory by Randall Waples, this year's Metro Stakes winner. Six in seven this year, 151 and one. Is a new Mohawk track record, the new Nassagawea stakes record. It just missed the Canadian record and former world record of pro bono best by a fifth of a second. A remarkable 151 and 1 for Mach 3 in his Nasagoya Stakes Division. With the Winner Circle Trophy presentation to Linda Madgett was Mr. Scott McKelvey, the Racing Secretary, Standard Red Division for Mohawk and Woodbine of Woodbine Entertainment. Stand by in just a few moments. We'll go into the Winner Circle again, where Peter Kite is with winning driver Randall Waples. Deja vu all over again with Randall Waples in the winner's circle following Mach 3's track record performance in the second division of the Nassagawea. First question I want to ask you, you had the second tier tonight, you addressed it uh, after your win earlier with Red River. Uh, any tedious moments at all in here? I, I, just, I didn't want to get trapped down on the rail, you know, I moved him over into the two wide lane going into the turn and then uh, when John was settling in behind me, actually uh, Mach, he took a bit of a step sideways and I thought I was going to dust up against John's legs there for a second, so that was kind of dicey, but after that he was, he was really strong. It appeared to me around the last turn that he was really bully, and he did have lots of pace, but around the last turn he had a bow in his neck and he looked good. Uh, were you just trying to teach him a little? Um, no, I wanted to stay in there as long as I could because nobody was coming live from behind me at that point, you know, but you're right, he was really bully, and uh, you know, the only thing that was going to happen there was I was going to take a lot out of him fighting with him, and he could always you know, end up hitting a knee or something and making a break, so I figured at that point, you know, if he wanted to get at it so bad, let him get at it, and uh, you know, he raced really well. Looks strong right down to the wire. 51 and one track record tonight. Speak to that. It's not the best night. No, it's not, and he done it very comfortable. You know, I mean, there was a little bit left in there, and uh, you know, I watched Pro Bro Pro Bono best win in 51 over this track, and I mean, you know, I never figured I'd go that fast. You know, so I mean, this is a really, really, really good horse. How do you rate the two, Red River and Mach Three? I, you know, I mean, uh, unfortunately, I find them a lot alike, you know, and that kind of cost me in the Metro, you know. I mean, I, I find them both really, really top quality Colts. Just happens to be that Mach 3 is a little handier, you know. The other guy, he kind of wants to get into the race in his own time, and this guy, he's ready for action whenever you are. Good luck. Thanks, Pete. Royal Flush Hanover is Randall's next drive coming up in the big race tonight with the Canadian Pacing Derby. That's coming up in just a little bit. We've got race number six right around the corner as the win four and our Super Saturday program continue. Let's get caught up.